Hi there, I'm the Little Artist. Welcome to the Little Artist Club. I'm back with the bow truckle. I find it very difficult to say bow truckle. It sounds a bit like bow chuckle. If you've seen the first video of how to do the bow truckle head, then it's probably, if you haven't rather, it's probably best to go back and have a look because we're gonna go straight into this one with our same reference with the, um, the reference of the saplings, our scribbles that we've done. I've, I've done a bit of preparation, just trying to get a feeling for how the bow truckle works. Because our ultimate goal is not just to do picket, although it's pretty cool. Our ultimate goal is to create our own bow truckle from what we're learning from this. So we've got his head. I've got the same printout as I had in the last video. And now I've traced around all his body parts. I've also put a grid on top of him just to try and keep a little bit of the proportion of how big the leaves are to his head, to his arms. It's a very simple eight square grid. A, B, one, two, three, four. You can follow that. It's very helpful if you wanted to make it what I'm not going to go into the grid system right now. I'll do the grid system on another video because otherwise I'll get carried away with it. So I've got the grid here and I've got my bow truckle reference. Let's get the rest of him in there. So I'm going to start with his arm. It's very organic. So you've kind of just got to keep it loose and keep it flowing. And we'll put, bring around his body. It kind of sweeps around through the middle of our grid. And then back round and down to about a third in for the leg. The legs are like... Are the, are basically the roots. We've got the roots coming down so they can kind of wiggly and wobbly. They don't want to be too smooth because the roots aren't smooth really. They've all got squiggly bits on there. And the same for his hands. His hands look a bit like the roots. So you've got the roots and then it comes up to the sapling and then up to the fresh leaves. Let's get the fingers in. Again, they're kind of wobbly. You can, Hold the pencil quite loose and just let it get some wiggly lines in there. I'm not being too precise, I'm just putting them in. around this he's got a really long sweeping arm that comes all the way down to the floor so we're going to go trying to go in one motion we're going to come through here and down and right the way around to his hand which is about in the middle of that square so we're going to go through here down and then that's one side of his arm and the other side is comes in, it's like a shoulder. So we've got this bit here, we're coming round. Don't press them too hard, I always do. Keep it loose, let it wobble around a little bit. And this bit is where his hand comes, his fingers, similar to the arm here. So we've got fingers coming round. foot goes behind somewhere. And we'll just finish off his body here which just sweeps around underneath his arm. So we've got one leg coming out this way and then if you look, if we look here then he has the leg coming out 
and then his arms got well he's got his, it's like his hip this is like the hip and then he's got two legs coming off there so he's got one leg there the hip coming right across and then the leg coming down these are a bit like the knees and then these are the feet so we're going to bring that across and bring two legs down so we're gonna, it's going to come around underneath there And then the leg comes down, the kneecap, and back up. And then the other leg coming down this way. Again, it doesn't have to be precise because it's uh, a very organic shape. You'll know yourself if it resembles picky. And then it also depends if you want it to be look to resemble picky. You might want it. Just you might have already set off for your own kind of design. Just thickening my lines up there and going over them, making them more true. Okay, so we've got this leg. There's a little bit here where it comes round behind the arm. So we've got the hip and then the leg coming down there. That's one. Then this leg coming down. This one. It's back this way. So you've got your kneecap, and then we've got the foot, like it's on his tippy toes. I'm doing it to a point, a bit like a, again, like I said, it's like um, a root. Not Groot. This is not to be mistaken for Groot. This is a root. I'm going to put a bit of background in there. Or something. You can see where his foot's landing. The next step, hopefully part three, which shouldn't take as long as the last one, fingers crossed. Uh, the third part will be to design our own bow truckle from the things that we've learned here. I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to keep having fun with fine art.